Good morning, Pastor Sunny. Uy, good morning, Pastor Body. Kamusta ka na? Long time no look. Oo nga po. Ayos na ayos. Ako yung masaya na kasama kita dito. Namiss na kita, Pasko. Ako ang masaya dahil uh, isang karangalan at pribileyong makasama ka. Dahil naniniwala ko sa sinasabi ng Bible that the next generation are ten times better than the old generation. Sila ah, yun. Ako na yan, Pastor. Kasi pag di ko pa tinanggap, baka magbalikan tayo. Humaba pa. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, good morning po sa lahat po ng ating mga taga-subaybay. Salamat po sa inyong pagsama sa ating uh, daily devotion and prayer. And again, for those of you who just tune in for the first time, ako po si Sunny. Uh, salamang sa mga pastors dito. At uh, again, uh, kasama ko po si Pastor Body uh, at aking uh, makaka... Ano bang tawag doon? Makakapalitan ng mga kuro-kuro to pinyon. You know? At uh, <laughs> pagpapatuloy po natin pag-aralan yung pong, uh, wisdom sa aklat ng kawikaan. You know, what wisdom gives in the book of Proverbs. And by the way, Pastor Bonds, you know, gusto kong i-welcome yung mga listeners natin. Hindi lang from Alabang, Las Pinas, and Paranaque. Kundi marami tayong mga listeners and viewers maging sa provinces natin. You know, at hindi lang yun, maging doon sa iba yung dagat. Taiwan, Canada, New Zealand, meron tayong regular na nakasubaybay sa atin. International, right. yan yung maganda sa technology, no? We get to encourage people from different places. So that's good. Tama, tama. Kahit hindi tayo umaalis, ano? You know? uh, kahit makikita lang. Oo, oh, ang ganda-ganda ng bihis natin pangitas. Hindi nila alam, nakashorts tayo. At saka nakadyama. <laughs> But anyway, um, ngayon pong magang ito, medyo maganda ang ating tatalakayin. No? Uh, Pastor Body, medyo sa totoo lang excited ako and uh, challenging yung verse na no? <laughs> binigay sa atin. Eh, pero tatanong mo na kita, Pastor Body, eh, ikaw ba may mga bagay na dinidesire? Oo naman, Pastor. Lahat naman tayo mayroong mga ginugusto hmm. na mga bagay. Oh, sino gusto mo? I mean, uh, ano ang mga gusto mo? <laughs> Alam ko, Pastor, nahit kayo sa intriga, pero... Ibang araw na natin pag-usapan yan. <laughs> <laughs> Oo. Kasi, uh, alam mo, kaya kaya titanong, kasi may mga taong nagsasabi na ingatan daw ang mga desire kasi ang desire daw eh masama. Um, uh, tingin mo, ano ba sila sabi yan ng Bibliat tungkol dito? O kailan ba nagiging masama ang isang bagay na iyong ginugusto? Yan ang gusto oh. ko marinig galing sa inyo, Pastor. Pero bago yan, tinamun natin kung nasa sabi ng Bible. Proverbs, uh-huh. so, See, yeah. we'll be reading from that. It says, whoever is wicked covets the spoil of evildoers, but the root of the righteous bears fruit. So again, meron coveting, meron mm-hmm. the root of the righteous. And nung nabasa ko actually, Pastor, itong verse na to, may naalala akong personal experience. Meron kaming tita na nagbigay sa amin ng mga regalo. So alam mo yun, siya, pagpasubong, regalo, enjoy na enjoy ka niya. Mm-hmm. Yung tito ko, nabigyan ng regalo, pagkabukas niya, yung pinapanalangin niya na designer bag na kuha niya. So, imagine, wow. kita mo talaga yung ligaya sa mukha niya, nag-dive up ulit na, umiyak, iyakapin yung tita namin, picture agad dun sa van. Tapos sabi niya sa akin, body, buksan mo rin yung sayo, gusto ko makita, excited siya. Pagkabukas ko ng akin, Pastor Sunny, akalain mo, laptop yung laman. Yung tito, <laughs> tito talaga ang saya-saya, pagkabukas nakita niya, laptop, kita ko bumagsak yung mukha eh. Sabi niya, <laughs> bakit ganun? Pastor, walang biro. Kulang na lang isang tabi yung bag niya. Doon na nakafocus sa laptop. Kaya tinago ko yung laptop. Baka sirain eh. Baka kumin eh. <laughs> so, doon ko lang din <laughs> na grabe yung mga desires natin. Sometimes it can lead to you know, thinking that medyo hindi okay. So, you know, just coming uh-huh. to this verse, may kita talaga natin that, well, covetousness are actually unrestrained desires that can lead to destruction. Aha. Uh-huh. Tama so, yung sinabi mo. Pe, pero maganda, medyo maghimay ta. Pero sa totoo lang ha, nai-imagine ko yung tito mo eh. <laughs> Kaya ako tawa lang daw. <laughs> At saka, that's how you'd see yung desire and even yung, yung covetousness is, is a bit tricky eh. Alam mo yung pagka talagang, it's an issue of the heart. It's an issue of the heart. And we don't want na mabili yung ano pero I, I really would like to to want qualify yung mga certain things dahil marami ngayon ang kumakalat din na nagsasabi from the Christian world ha, na hindi ka lang daw hindi na daw ka, tayo kailangan pang mag-desire na mag-desire anyway kung alam niya ni Lord ipagkakaloob na lang daw sa atin because 
oftentimes sa uh, yung mga dinidesire natin ay masama. So, uh, doon natin magandang himayin. So, paano ba nagiging masama or kailan nagiging masama ang mga bagay na ating mga gusto? May nagtatanong yeah. Pastor And, Sunny, ah. may nagtatanong, hmm. nga ba daw yung covet o covetousness? <laughs> <laughs> Alam mo, sa salita pa lang. Medyo English eh. Oh, English, yun nga eh. Kaya nga natatawa na ako. Ang dami na naglalaro sa isip ko. Pero dahil kulang tayo sa oras. When, when you talk kasi of, of covetousness or yung being covetous, uh, ito yung extreme. I would say this is the extreme of desire. Y- y- yun, ang, yun ang nakita ko rito. Because it is having and showing great desire to possess something belong to someone else. Now, medyo na, nakakatakot lang pakinggan yung, yung definition no, na inibigyan. Pero pa, pahintulutan niyo po akong i-qualify yun. Una, sabi dito, yung, yung pagiging, uh, ano ba tagal? Sakim. Hindi, no. greed yun eh. Y- yung, yung pagnanasa. Yun, pagnanasa. Maraming nanasa. As sabi dito, yung covetousness is having or showing great desire. Okay, great desire. No, it's not just a desire, but a great desire. Now, trust me, nothing is wrong with the word desire itself, in itself. You know, uh, hindi masama ang salitang desire as long as mailagay natin siya sa tamang frame. Pero sabi rito, it's showing or having a great desire to possess na makamuta, makuha, magkaroon ka ng bagay na pag-aari ng iba. Okay? So, y- yung desire niyan, pag tumindi, pag sumidhi, yun sa Tagalog kasi masidhing pagnanasa. Yun. Pag itong, itong gusto mo ay naging masidhing pagnanasa na makamtan, makuha, magkaroon ka ng bagay na pag-aarinan ng iba, dun ito nagiging covetous. Ha? O yung, yung covetousness. You know? Pero kung desire lang in itself, basically nothing is wrong with that. Pero ang warning dito, So often times or not often times palagi tong covetousness it starts with a desire desire yun ang ano doon kunyari mawa yung between like versus want until it becomes a strong desire mm-hmm. you know uh, would you like to respond with that yeah, siguro, kasi ko nag share sa akin yun eh medyo nag nag explain ka pastor na paisip ako kasi di ba social media like may nang like ng mga litrato diyan pag may nakita tayong oy Kunari ngayon, may, may nakita tayong kaibigan na may binili sa online shopping. Uy, gusto ko yun yan. Saan mo nabili yan? So, mm-hmm. is that bad for the in itself? Pero from what I'm feeling ah. sa explanation niya, Pastor, no? uh, strong desire, yung hindi mo na mapigil, yung nanggigigil ka, yung medyo wala na sa loob. And at the same time, pag-aari ng ibang tao. That in itself. Yun. So, Kasi pwede ka naman mag-desire ng mga bagay-bagay na walang nagmamayari. Hmm. Di ba? Pero pagka ang dinidesire mo na, yung, yung great desire mo na makuha ay pag-aari ng iba, ah, medyo kwidaw na tayo doon. Kunyari, bawa, may nakita kang magandang kotse na dumaan. Di ba? Normal lang. Kasiyano, kalehans ka agad. Jesus name. Eh. I claim that. I claim that. No. <laughs> Alam mo, it's funny. Walang masama na mag-claim ka ng sasakyan. Pero kung gusto mong mag-claim ng sasakyan, pumunta ka doon sa distributor ng sasakyan do sa uh, kunyari diyan sa Ford o sa uh, Isuzu doon kang maglelehans wag yung meron ng meme-ari okay may nakita ka ng ng baba <laughs> may, may magandang babaeng dumaan oh i claim that oy what <laughs> what <laughs> wow. badjo depende di ba kaya yeah, na precisely yata yeah. tong coveting pastor no yun sa sinabi mo lang din thou shall not covet yung ba yun oh, oh. yun yun strongly related yan Because when you covet your neighbor's spouse, it becomes your covet. Covet. Yun. Kaya, maobaw. <laughs> Kaya, actually, but kidding aside, nasa Ten Commandments yun, you shall not covet your neighbor's, uh, you know, whatever, na possession ng, ng neighbor mo. Kaya nga, pero again, going back, bro, always remember, desire in itself is not bad. Yeah. Actually, paso yan, no? desires nga lead to our dreams, yung mga kagustuhan natin. Desires can actually be good. From what mm. I'm getting from you, Pastor, desires can either be good or bad. Ang kailangan lang natin bantayan yung object that we're desiring and mm. why we're desiring it. The motive. Precisely. Na-hit mo, brother. So, Kasi, ang tanda, ang gusto to. 
Yes, oh, kunyari, yung object na din niya. Kunyari, if you are desiring to draw closer to God, that's a good desire. You know, if you desire to serve God, that's a good desire. If you desire to be a blessing, that's a good desire. Pero when we start desiring, eto na, yung sinabi mo kanina, yung object, mga bagay-bagay na meron ng nagmamay-ari. Tapos yung desire na yun is not just simple desire, but you have that great desire. Masidhing gigil. Gusto ko to. Yun na yun. Yun na yun. Alam mo, yung parang adik na uh, gigil lang na. Pata hindi na ako ay nanginig. Yun na. Doon na tayo nakakaroon ng problema. O, misa ng term nila dito, inordinate desire. Inordinate. Yung excessive. Oo. Oh. Inexcessive. You know, wala kang satisfaction. You know, uh, meron ka na, nagdi-desire ka pa. Yung nga, lagi, na, lagi mong sinaspento sa akin. Meron ka ng 5110, gusto mo pa ng 3300. Aba, isa-isa lang. Isa-isa lang. Ano ka lang yung gap nun? Parang oh. dupo. Eh, oh, no, no. <laughs> Pero yun nga, pasito, <laughs> just to ask lang, so pwede rin tayong mag-covet ng sobra-sobra kapag, nang, kasi coveting kanina, pag mamayari ng iba. Pero mm-hmm. kung kunwari, marami na tayo ng gamit na yun, say, relos o sapatos, meron ka ng 50, gusto mo pa Oo. ulit ng... Teka, teka, brother, nagpaparinig ka ba? Ayun nga, tinatanong ko, member tayo ng grupong yan. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> so, basta talaga, pastor, excessive, uh, insightful, yeah. hindi na masatisfy. Mm-hmm. That Yon, is, hindi right? masatisfy. Mm-hmm. That is what we are to. Kaya nga, even that desire or yung, yung when you talk about covetous or being covetous, uh, covetous, you place that object of desire mo before your love and devotion to God. Meaning, kapag ka yung bagay na yung matindi, masinding pinagdanasan goes beyond or it takes the place of God sa heart mo, then something is wrong. Mm-hmm. Dun yon. Obviously, it doesn't come from God. Y- yeah. Yun ang ano natin doon. Kasi, you know, desires, always remember, it can either be good or bad. Mm-hmm. Alright? can either be good or bad. Depende on the object, again, and the motives. Yeah. So, yun yun eh. Bakit mo gusto yan? Mm-hmm. And I think one thing lang din from what you said, Pastor, no? kasi it takes the place of God in our hearts. And from what I see lang din, uh, when we covet things, it can actually lead us to somehow yung discontentment to resent God or mm-hmm. you to have a different view of Him na parang Lord, ba't di mo binibigay sa akin to? Madamot ka yata. Eh Lord, di mo naman yata ako mahal mm-hmm. ka siya. Bakit mm-hmm. ganito? So, kita mm-hmm. natin, yung sinabi niyo po kanina that covetous brings destruction. It's not just to ourselves but to our relationship with God then. Precisely. Kaya nga, gusto ko na idugtong that when a desire it becomes or this, let me rephrase it, desire becomes wrong when it goes outside the will of God. Kasi may mga dinidesire din si Lord para sa atin na magaganda eh. You know, going back to the scripture na sinabi natin, you know, uh, in essence, ang sinasabi nun is that what wicked people acquire in devious means will, uh, or, or it, it is also desired by other, you know, wicked people. Hindi ko nga alam kung dyan galing yung kasabihang ang magdanakaw, galit sa kapwa, magdanakaw eh. Malamang. Kasi tinatanong, ba't kaya ga- Oh, but kaya galit yung magdana ko sa kapwa magdana kasi na inggit dahil na una siya. Mas oh, gusto niya rin. <laughs> gusto niya rin yun na naikwento niya lang. Na gusto niya yon. Etong eh, isang mabilis ni Neno kagad. <laughs> you know, kaya nung nakita niya, ginugo gusto niya rin ineno rin. Oh, y- yun yung sinasa- yun yung sinasabi natin doon. So, in short, many times yung discontentment, you know, it breeds craving for more. Eh. No? Kaya nga And, and trust me, hindi exempted tayo mga Kristiyano. Kasama tayo rito. Because may mga times, unknowingly, in a subtle way, may mga, ano tayo, may mga discontentment tayo. Or, let me give you an example. Uh, Doon sa area ng, ng madalas nating narinig, na sinasabi natin, the, na pag kami binabati ka, oh, may the Lord grant the desires of your heart. Oh, the Lord grant. You know, ganda din ako yung pag may birthday, sinasabi yun. Pero I realized one time, I realized na, The promise of God to give the desires of our heart depends on how we delight in Him. Yun yung buong verse ng 37.4. Delight yourself in the Lord and He'll give you the desires of your heart. Hmm. Now, literally, ito sinasabi doon. If you delight yourself in the Lord, ibig sabihin, 
nakakaharap ka ng kasiyahan sa Diyos, nakakaharap ka ng kaluguran sa Diyos. Sabi, if you delight yourself in the Lord, it is God who will give you, eto una, He will give you what to desire. And what desire ang ilalagay sa Lord? Obviously, the desire of having His will in your life. And when He plays that desire, and then because you delight in it, He will grant you the desires of your heart. I love Ganun that. Ganun I love that. Kasi nga, wait for that eh. Lord, kala ko ba bibigay mo yung desire ng puso ko? First, He will change mm-hmm. desires. Uh, naalala ko nga eh, ang alam ko kasi sa desire, kadalasan hawa-hawa din yan eh. Kung sino yung madalas uh-huh. natin kasama, kung ano yung dinidesire nila, we begin to desire it as well. Subukan mo sumama yeah. sa mga tao ma- madalas kumain, mahilig kumain, ng samgyupsan. Mm. Tingnan mo, medyo, mm. kahit gano'n ka ka-healthy, medyo lalapad ka rin, natataas yung mga oh. mga numbers mo sa doktor. Oh. Well, actually, biblical naman yung ginagawa nila. They are just expanding the temple of God. Pwede. Yeah, they are building God a cathedral. <laughs> uh, so yun, kita ko lang din. Um, hawa-hawa and desires, if people love to exercise around you, gusto mo na rin yun. And when we delight in God, when we spend time with Him, again, mm-hmm. His desires become our desires. Precisely. Precisely. Kaya do, yun ang filter mm-hmm. ng desire. Again, desire by itself, walang masama kailangan lang na-filter natin. Kasi when that desire again becomes excessive, you know, pagka unrestrained na, then obviously, doon na pumapasok yung being covetous. Yeah. And trust me, covet- covetousness can lead to other sins. Yeah, that's what I discovered, even from the scripture. Yung pagiging, um, yung, yung pagnanasa ng matindi, ng masidi, ito yung nagbubunga pa o nagtutulak sa atin upang lalo pa tayong magkasala. You know, I, I, was ask, I was going to ask kasi, yun nga, a lot of people say, bakit kagustuhan lang naman to? Wala naman akong gagawing about it eh. But then, uh, mm. sometimes we uh, minimize desires but we underestimate where it can lead. It actually says in James 4.2, you want what you don't have so you scheme and kill to get it. You are jealous of what others have but you can't get it. So you fight mm. and wage war to take wow. it away from them, try to steal it from mm. them. Yet you don't have what you want because you don't ask God for it. Mm. And even when you ask, you don't get it because your motives are all wrong. You want only what will give you pleasure. Alam mo, iba, iba yung binasa mong yan. Alam mo, matindi yan. Eh. Kasi tayo mga Kristiyano, alam na natin yan eh. If we want something, we have to ask God. Right? Pero ang matindi rito ang sinabi, you ask, but you do not receive. Y- yun ang matindi. And again, napupunta tayo minsan sa, baka may unconfessing ako, or baka kung ano. Pero isang malinaw ang sinasabi dito, if we don't receive what we ask, number one, we got to check our heart. We got to check our motive. Dahil sabi dito, and even when you ask, you don't get it. Why? Because your motives are all wrong. Dun po mapasok yun. You want only what will give you pleasure. So, alam mo dito sa binasa natin to, I, I can share, I, I can put it in a in a nutshell sa tatlong aspeto. Eh. Number one, ito yun eh. The desire, all desire starts from within. Okay? Now again, desire in itself, walang masama. Hindi, hindi, hindi kasalanan. Okay? Pero pagka hindi ito natin napilita, mag, mag-start yan. Design. Gusto natin eh. Mga ninanais tayo. Pero pag, na, pag naging unrestrained yan, papasok yung next part, which is the motivation. So, if what we desire, kaya nga, once we know what to desire, what, what our desires are, the next question, gaya yung sinabi mo, bakit ko gusto ito? Now, yun dapat natin matanong. Will it give glory to God? Or will it give glory to me? Para sikat ako, para, para you know, kaingitan ako. Eh, something, something is wrong with that. Kasi with that, doon na yun. It starts from within our heart and then we are motivated yung ating pagiging self-centered until it manifests into evil actions. Yun yung binasa mo. Schemes and kill and be jealous, you fight, wage war, and so on and so forth. Yeah. That's why very, very tricky. Mm. And I think, Pastor, yun nga, we can easily fall into that trap. Ako mismo, amin na ako. Pag nakakita talaga ako ng galing sa ibang tao, pag wala ako nun, medyo, medyo may, ano, may nararamdaman na kurot sa puso ko. And I think all of us will agree uh, na mas ma- madalas natin makita kung ano yung meron iba na wala tayo kaysa sa kung anong meron tayo. That's Tama. in us. 
Alam mo, may kuna yung toko nun sa akin, ha? yung toko kay Ebat Adan. I, yeah. I love that illustration. Very simple and yet so profound. Mm-hmm. You know, would you like to tell yung viewers natin? Yeah, Pastor. Uh, when I was reading up on this, nakita ko na, yun nga, I was asking, masama ba yung desire? But then, nakita ko na unang beses ginamit yung word na yun when, with the creation of the trees in the Garden of Eden. And sinabi doon that the trees were, you know, pleasant to the eye. They were to, desire, to be desired. So, kita natin that, you know, things that God has created are to be desired. Yun lang, mm-hmm. ang problema, si Eva, mali yung dinesire niya. Yung puno, mm-hmm. nabawal. Instead of appreciating oh. the wonderful things, ilan ba yung puno around her? Hundreds, thousands. Doon siya nakafocus dun sa puno. Kaya it led her to sin. That's why yun nga, uh, we should really be careful pagdating sa bagay na yan na tingnan din natin kung ano yung meron tayo. Uh, you said one word that really struck my heart and that is the word appreciate. Yan yung mm-hmm. sinabi mo. Marami siya pwedeng ma-appreciate sa ginawa ng Diyos sa paligid niya. And yet, she chose to focus on just one tree. Yeah. And I do believe it on my heart because as we end this devotion ngayon, ito na yung gusto natin eh. How can, how can we overcome this covetousness? Or how can we how can we fight this covetousness? I think, you know, in Luke chapter 12, kasi, verse 15, sabi ni Jesus, and he said to them, take care and be on your guard against all, against all covetousness. Bakit? For one's life does not consist in the abundance of his possession. Lalo na ngayon, even in the Christian world, may kumakalat ng mga teaching na pag wala kang, pag wala kang pera, hindi ka blessed. Pag wala kang bagong bahay, o magandang bahay, o mga bagong appliances, hindi ka blessed. No, sa, saan natin makikita yun? Ibig sabihin, ang dami sa Bible na hindi blessed. Dahil wala nun. You know? So, uh, kaya nga yung, yung covetousness is so tricky, so subtle, na kailangan mabantayan talaga ang puso natin. That's why, if I'm going to, to just lay it one by one, number one, you know, what we need to understand is that we have to guard what we desire. Yeah. Yun ang una. Guard what we desire and then why we desire it. Yeah, I think, dun pa lang. You know? And secondly, sabi ng scripture in Romans 12, that we rejoice with those who rejoice. Mm. And trust me, Pastor Bodhi, ah, it takes a spiritual man to rejoice with those who rejoice. <laughs> Dalang umiiral is yung ingit. Ang umiiral, bakit siya meron? Bakit ako wala? You know, would you like to add some more on, on that? Uh, Oh, uh, sir, di ba kadalasan niya makakatangkap ka ng text, uy, pa, ano, samahan mo naman ako, may bago kong kotse. Mm-hmm. Tagal ko na nagpipray, Lord. Ah. <laughs> and ayun, uh, yeah. we just really need to, again, learn how to celebrate the good things that God is doing in the lives of other people. Uh, but then again, it will take definitely prayer and delighting in God. And uh, yeah. I, I think what we really need to do is, yun nga, instead of looking at what, others have, first and foremost, unahin natin yung nasa bakura natin. Ano ba yung mga mm. blessings na meron tayo? Because for sure, yeah. God blesses us with a lot of things as well. So, you know, start thanking God even for the littlest of things. We will never run mm. out of things to thank Him for. The roof above our head, damit, uh, sapatos, trabaho. Uh, we'll never run out of things. So, definitely we need to develop, I think, the antidote to covetousness is really the attitude of gratitude then, Pastor Sani. Precisely. Precisely. And when you have the attitude of gratitude, you'll start to be content with what you have. Mm. Because God also said that if He finds you faithful over little things, He will entrust you with much. So let the Lord find us faithful. Mm-hmm. You know, y- yun yun eh. And, and I, I believe with all my heart na pag nakita ng Lord na tayo faithful, eh, He will bless us more. Mm-hmm. Would you like to pray for them right now? Yes, Pastor. <laughs> Lord, thank you so much for this morning. We thank you for your reminder for us to guard the desires of our hearts. Uh, truly, O oh Lord God, sometimes minamaliit namin ito, pero it can lead us to do you know, things that are not aligned with your will. So right now, Lord God, we lift up to you our hearts. We pray, Lord God, that you be the one to um, take away the desires na hindi po galing sa inyo. And Lord, be the one to fill us with your desires. I, I even pray, Lord God, na kami po, we would learn to delight in you. We would learn mm-hmm. to see that you are the only one who can satisfy us, our longing souls. And Lord, I believe that that is where the right perspective will come from, allowing you to satisfy us. Lord, I even pray for awareness tungkol sa mga desires namin na excessive. Holy Spirit, be the one to um, reel us back in. Kalabitin mo kami pag medyo hindi na healthy yung desires namin. And I pray, Lord God, that the desires that you place in our heart are the ones that we would uh, 
we would uh, per pursue, oh Lord God. And I pray that even you open our eyes to see how blessed we are having you in our lives. When, it, yes. when we talk about blessings, Panginoon, tulungan niyo po kami baguhin yung perspective na ang blessing ay kung ano lang yung nakahawakan namin, nakikita namin, nabibilang namin. Because mm -hmm. Lord, our greatest blessing is having you in our lives. We might not have everything right now, but we know that in you, we actually have everything because we will receive it in your perfect time. Maraming salamat, yes. Panginoon, that you will be the one to work in our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I also would like to pray, if you're here right now and you're listening to us and probably you've, you've been wondering, you know, how, how can I delight in the Lord? Let me say this first. It is God's desire for you to be reconciled back to Him. And if you want to delight yourself in the Lord, first and foremost, you got to have that relationship with God through the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you like that, let me just lead you in a short prayer. Sundan niyo po ang panlangan na ito, mumula sa inyong puso, bigkasin niyo po sa inyong mga labi. Sabihin po natin, ama sa langit, sa ngalan ni Jesus, inihahayag ng aking labi na si Jesus ang aking Panginoon at tagapagligtas. At buong puso akong nananali na binuhay siya mula sa mga patay. Salamat po sa bagong buhay at sa kapatawaran ng aking mga kasalanan. Tinatanggap po ito ngayon sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen at Amen. So if you have prayed that prayer, you know, we would like to congratulate you and we rejoice with you, we celebrate with you and we would like to tell you that's the best uh, decision ever you made in your life. And because of that, uh, please inform us kung kayo po tumanggap sa Panginoon through that prayer. Meron po kayo makikita ang link dyan sa inyong mga screen. Uh, pakipuntahan nyo po at ilagay o maybe kahit dun po sa, sa comment ilagay nyo po na uh, it's the first time that you have accepted Jesus because we would like to help you grow in your walk with the Lord nagsisimula po ang inyong paglakad and so that you would still know and learn kung paano tayo patuloy na magdi-delight sa Panginoon at marami po tayong mga kasama, mga kapatiran who are willing to walk side by side with you on this wow, Pastor Boden, bilis ang oras natin Aga, oh, dapat talaga to everyone who joined us and continue to join us uh, every day, uh, we'll continue to discuss Proverbs this week, 9 a.m. If you like what you heard, feel free to share it with your friends, your family, share this mm -hmm. link. And Pastor Sunny, maraming salamat. Dami ko natutunan sa'yo. Ako din eh. Maraming salamat din for, again, giving me the time to just sit down with you and discuss this. At lagi po nating datandaan kay Kristo, bawat umaga, bagong pag -asa.